Hello everyone, welcome again to another Realmsmith tutorial series episode. Uh, today I brought my friend along, Todd Harris, who also plays McGill the Wood Elf in our live series. Um, we do those every other Monday, and this coming Monday we'll be using his miniature uh, that he got from Hero Forge. Um, we'll be showing you kind of the turn on the 3D model that he used in order to create him. We're going to ask Todd a little bit about McGill, um, and he's going to tell us a bit about his character just so we can get the mindset before we paint the miniature version of him in a couple minutes. Todd, tell us about McGill. First off, uh, what was his general concept? Uh, so the general concept with McGill is he's aspiring to be a blade singer. Um, so for those of you, and hopefully most of you are familiar with the, um, the lore, um, blade singers obviously uh, incorporate magic into their, their combat. Um, so important to McGill was um, being able to be dual wielding to have the two swords mm. but also he's a wood elf and uh, part of his family background is archery. To incorporate both those key elements into the mini um, you've got McGill holding his bow in a very um, sort of hero stance actively um, um, uh, getting ready to fight, but he's also got that fluidity that's uh, part of who he is. So the character's name is kind of um, Salkad McGill um, in the D&D world of the Elvish language, translates into Dancing Blade, and that was the inspiration for the character. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, what we'll do is we'll show you a couple miniatures uh, of our other party members uh, that we have that I did um, some time ago. This here is Balabar. Uh, and he is a gnome rogue. Um, this is another Hero Forge mini uh, that our player David uh, ordered online and built. Um, and I did some uh, some you know secondary source lighting here from that lantern on the ground, <clears throat> as you can see. Um, and we also have Vor. Uh, Vor is actually a D and D miniature um, from uh, WizKids. And uh, he is a half orc fighter. He's half orc and half drow, actually. Uh, and so we painted him up as well. So we're going to show you some of these techniques, and we're going to get McGill to this point today. Uh, and actually, Todd's going to paint him. Strap in. Here we go. So step one, uh, we're going to get Todd to prime this, and we're going to use a Citadel Corax White. We can't do it in here. Once uh, it's primed, we're going to start applying base colors. Mm -hmm. um, the rule of thumb with base colors is that you want to get the deepest areas of the model first, so you're not messing up all the higher areas. And so for example, you're going to want to get his pants base coated before you get the bottom part of his clothing or his um, armor um, base coated as well. We're using a, it's all from the Citadel line, we're using the Wog, Wog Flesh, it's a base color. Uh, Rhinox. We're using Rhinox Hide for any anything that'll be red in the end, um, as well as kind of leather and, and dark leather, deep leather stuff. Um, Morn Fang, we're using for the pants, I believe, Todd, mm -hmm. um, for uh, all kind of rich brown uh, colors that we want. Um, and then we used right, a right. yeah we used a Bugman's Glow for the flesh, um, and that was the base coat there. And then we have Dryad, dryad Bark, which is anything that's wooden, uh, anything that kind of has a desaturated kind of wood look. Um, and those are the colors that we'll be using for the base coating. We've gone ahead and we've base coated uh, McGill. Um, Todd's done a wonderful job doing this. Um, as you can see here, he's base coated all the lowest areas first. The next step is to apply layer paints. Um, and that's just basically like a mid-tone highlight. Um, and you're going to use a fine detail brush to do that. And you're going to dilute your paints just slightly with water just so they flow a bit better. Uh, the first color we're going to use is Scrag Brown. And the same rule applies. Give it a nice little shake. Same rule applies. Um, and that is that you want to make sure that you um, work on the deepest areas first and the deepest recesses of the miniature and then work up from there just in case you muck up some of the higher details you can rebase coat those and then carry on uh, you want to put a little dollop I don't have my palette handy and then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go in and you're going to just 
follow the contours of the leg and the folds of the leg. And basically you're covering anywhere that is in the deepest recesses of that area. <clears throat> Just like that. All right, Todd, you wanna to give that a go? And we're gonna do that to all those uh, brown areas. I think this we're lens. good, dude. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. This lens. This yeah. Lens. All right. So, we've uh, we've now added the highlights to those brown areas, and they're looking mighty nice. I feel like I've gained a painting level. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it's> like <laughs> leveled up, dude. You have like I you have like five hundred totally leveled up. Seven hundred fifty points. <laughs> five hundred XP to go. Um. Okay. Next, we will <clears throat> do the green. Okay. Nice. So, the green is going to be a little different. Uh, because we don't want it to get too bright. We don't want to get like no. like lime green. Yeah. But what we do have is a lime green. Right. It's called moot green. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is we we're don't doing... want to do this, but <laughs> we're going to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is we don't want to fill large areas with this. We're gonna edge highlight, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Right here. Hope you really enjoyed part one of our tutorial. Make sure that you like the video and you subscribe to our channel for notifications and updates of when we go live or when we post a new tutorial video. As well, make sure that you comment. Any questions or thoughts that you have, we'd love to hear from you. As well, check out part two next. <laughs>